What's good, Falcon fans? Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us on this episode of Falcons Today by Chat Sports. We have a huge show on tap. Coming up, we're going to talk about Derek Carr making a move to the New Orleans Saints that is gaining some traction. We'll catch up to speed with the latest on that situation just a few moments from right now. Also, A.J. Terrell in his fifth-year option. What could that potentially look like for the Falcons cornerback? Also, Arthur Blank had some comments to say. We will let you hear directly what Arthur Blank had to say coming up later on. Let's start with Derek Carr, the Las Vegas Raiders quarterback. We've known for several weeks that he would not be returning to the Las Vegas Raiders in 2023. And... This week, momentum really started to build up of a move for Derek Carr to join the New Orleans Saints. And we heard reports that the Raiders were allowing Derek Carr to start talking to teams and that he went out to New Orleans and held a formal meeting and that they met twice. And it seems like this is on track to be a done deal of some sorts, that Derek Carr is likely headed to New Orleans to be the Saints' next starting quarterback. The report from Todd Pellicero of the NFL Network this afternoon stating the Saints and Raiders already have the framework for a Derek Carr trade in place, a condition for Las Vegas to let this visit happen. But Carr's no-trade clause means he controls whether any trade happens before the 4 p.m. Eastern Tuesday deadline, so stay tuned. Derek Carr's numbers this past season, he took a significant step back. As you can see, he had 3,500 yards, 24 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions, a less than 61% completion percentage. Comparably speaking to 2021, his completion percentage was quite a bit higher at around 68%, and he threw for 4,800 yards there in 2021, a big drop-off from what he did in uh, 2021 to 2022. Um, And you look at what what Derek Carr has brought to the table. Think about all those weapons that he had there in Las Vegas with Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller. And that's what he had to show for it. I mean, I got to tell you, Falcons fans, you got to be thrilled that Derek Carr is not your quarterback. That They're not in the position the New Orleans Saints are in of having to rely on this guy. You gave him the world, and that's what he did? I mean, just embarrassing. I don't know why anyone would want Derek Carr to be their quarterback. Derek Carr, I'll be honest, is just pathetic. You look at the Saints quarterback room right now. Andy Dalton, ouch. Jameis Winston, not so great. Taysom Hill should be playing tight and has no business ever throwing a football. I mean, there's some serious problems. And I'll say this much. Falcons fans, you know firsthand, Drew Brees was not playing great at the end of his career. The Saints quarterback room over there has been a problem for a while. And so I got to tell you, Bird Gang, you got Desmond Ritter, a young quarterback. And I'll say this. I'd much rather be in the Falcons position of seeing what you have in Desmond Ritter maybe looking at potential other quarterback options if there's something better this offseason. But you are in much better shape than what your arch rival is of the New Orleans Saints in their position of actually trusting Derek Carr. I mean, that's a fireable offense of why anyone would even dare give money to Derek Carr and want them want him to be their starting quarterback. But nonetheless, tell me this. Are you worried about Derek Carr to the Saints? I mean, why should you be? It's Derek Carr. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's be honest with ourselves. Derek Carr, nobody's worried about this. Type W if you're worried for some reason. Type C if you're calm about this. If you're like me and you're just laughing at the Saints. Ha, 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 ha. If you have that reaction like I just did, then type C for calm. Let us know in the comments section. W for worried, C for calm. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in and let me know. All right, next up, uh, A.J. Terrell's fifth-year option. What does that potentially look like in the Falcons picking it up? We'll dive into all of that and more in just one moment before we do. Today's show is sponsored by Fume. 
We all have bad habits, and we certainly know how hard they can be to kick those habits. Our sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. I didn't expect much out of Fume when I got it, but the minty sensation is really powerful and really hits the back of the throat. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors for you to enjoy, maple pepper, crisp mint, and white cranberry. Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one, and Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. Head to tryfume.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. That's tryfum.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports to save an additional 10% off of your order today. Tell them that Tyler Jones and Chat Sports sent you, and you will be glad you did. Fume, I've tried it. I like it. Give it a shot. Tell us what you think. All right, uh, let's switch gears now and talk about A.J. Terrell. The Falcons have to make a decision when it comes to Terrell's fifth-year option. Are they going to give it to him or not? Well, let's go ahead and tell you about kind of the, the numbers behind this uh, situation. When you look at players who have achieved the playtime criteria, but no Pro Bowls, you can see quarterbacks go as high as $23 million, running backs at 5.994, but you go all the way down, you look a little closer, and you see that cornerback position, that's 12.344. That's what you're looking at for A.J. Terrell, and I got to tell you, that is definitely a steal for A.J. Terrell. To me, I think is a fantastic football player that's got a very bright future in this league, and if you get him on that fifth-year option for 12.34 and then pay him that money later, that's money saved of paying that money, comparably speaking, if you were to decline the option, then he has a big year and you potentially have to pay him more. The statistics from A.J. Terrell in his career, you can see the tackle numbers, 202, four interceptions, 32 pass breakups, and uh, Pro Football Focus giving him a grade of 69.1 for his career. Pretty nice. Now, the numbers for this past season, according to PFF, gave him an overall grade of 63.9, a coverage grade of 61.8, run defense grade 67.3, and he was ranked as the 62nd out of 118 corners around the NFL, which I thought that was way too low. I thought he played a lot better than that uh, ranking he was given according to PFF. But nonetheless, I got to say, it was a crime that he did not make the Pro Bowl this year. And I think it had to do with partly because of who the Falcons were as a team, that they were under the radar. I think some of the national media and some of the fans that do the fan vote and all that kind of forgot about the season that A.J. Terrell was having in 2022. But you Falcon fans, you know how good A.J. Terrell is and that he's deserving of that 12 plus million dollars that fifth year option it is a steal and you'd love to have him with this Atlanta Falcons team for a long time now here's the thing it does save the Falcons money now uh this is a good situation the Falcons find themselves in with where this fifth year con fifth year option lines up for AJ Terrell and then the timing of getting a contract down the line. To me, this all just makes sense for this team. So with that, showed the Falcons pick up Terrell's fifth-year option. It seems like an easy answer. Why would they not pick up his fifth-year option? Tell me in the comments section. Type Y for yes, N for no, if you think the Falcons should or should not pick up Terrell's fifth-year option. All right. Uh, I got to make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I got to tell you, our team here at Chat Sports, we're covering the Atlanta Falcons like no one else is with daily news and rumors. We're counting down the draft, free agency, trades, and more. This is the place to be. And I got to tell you, I mean, Falcons fans, this is going to be a fascinating offseason for this team as they try to build for their future here. No one knows your team like we do here. Subscribe now. It doesn't cost you a thing. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. Producer Rowley is working extremely hard, and he told me, please, Tyler, we need more subscribers. We want to keep doing more stuff. So 
Make sure that Roly doesn't yell at me and subscribe to the channel now. You'll be glad you did. All right, uh, final note before we go. Let's uh, let you hear from Falcons owner Arthur Blank as uh, he had some positive things to say about the direction of this franchise and where they're headed going forward. Blank believes that the Falcons are on the rise. Here's his statement. That doesn't change overnight, but I absolutely think that in the last two years it has been moving in that direction. I think people acknowledge that when you have $86 million in dead money by the end of 2022, it's going to be very hard to be super competitive. We were competitive, but not at the level we'd like to be in the future with us having close to $60 million in cap space going into next year and nine more picks and a couple more years of maturity for these young players that we've drafted. Most people who are students of the game would say this team is definitely on the rise. This is the most important offseason in a very long time for the Atlanta Falcons. And the window is wide open in the NFC South. When you look at the Bucks in the post-Tom Brady era, when you look at the Panthers with a brand new coach, when the Saints are actually going to trust Derek Carr, there is an opening for the Atlanta Falcons, and this is a chance to take it right in front of them. So we'll see what they do here with this offseason. Do you trust Arthur Blank in the front office? What do you think? What do you think about Arthur Blank in this front office and the moves that they're looking to make this offseason? Do you believe that they can get the job done? If you do, type T for trust. If not, type NC for no chance. Let us know. T for trust, NC for no chance. Thanks for joining us here on Falcons Today. Tyler Jones here with you, and I will see you another time here on Falcons Today. Appreciate you. Appreciate you joining us. Subscribe to the channel and have a great day.